All right, we are live from NAB. It's day two. I'm TK from Gotham Sound and Communications, and we are at the ClearCom booth with William. We're going to go over some of the things going on with the new Arcadia system. And uh, we just want to remind everyone to drop your questions, comments in the chat. This is live on Facebook and YouTube. So we want to hear some engaging questions. So, so with that being said, Will, how are you doing? Thank you, TK. That's Good. Yeah. Doing well. Um, so what's going on here with the Arcadia and some of the integration uh, that we were able to do here? Yeah, yeah. So Arcadia is our, uh, our uh, new central station that we call it. It's been out for a couple years now, but now it's really ramping up. The whole idea behind Arcadia is just to have one central station that connects to most of our products that are, are popular in, in the industry. That's FreeSpeak Wireless, HelixNet, Digital Wired Party Line, Analog Party Line, Dante we do now. Um, just you name it, we got it. And most of what you ever need is in Arcadia. Um, the beauty of Arcadia is our engineering team actually is still developing Arcadia as we speak. Uh, it, it was released two years ago with the idea of just being dedicated to unlocking more and more features. There's a lot of power built into this, and uh, every year we're releasing new exciting features. Uh, one of the new things that's coming out any week now is uh, direct connectivity between Arcadias via IP. In the past, uh, or I say in the past, the past couple of years, um, you could do that with an LQ box, which is also very popular in the Swiss Army knife, but we're going to focus on the Arcadia right now. Um, so direct connection there. Agent IC connections coming, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, that's that's in the pipeline. Um, as I said, this does HelixNet. That was one of those uh, adapt features that we released uh, a few months ago. Um, I will now cover FreeSpeak and HelixNet for those who who aren't aware of it. FreeSpeak is our wireless intercom. This has been out for maybe five six years now. This is battle tested. These things are robust. Uh, they're very popular in the industry. If, you, if you've used wireless intercom, there's a very good chance it's, it's uh, FreeSpeak um, everywhere. Cool thing about FreeSpeak is there's different versions of it. This is FreeSpeak 2, which lies in the either 1.9 gigahertz realm or the 2.4. Here in the States, 1.9 is, is the best uh, frequency to use. You're not in the Wi-Fi spectrum, and most of what we sell in the States is 1.9. Uh, we have our Edge Belt Pack, which is same concept as the FreeSpeak 2, but it's in the 5 gigahertz band for now. Um, there are additions coming that I cannot talk too much about, but uh, hint, hint. Um, this is right now 5 gigahertz. Uh, you've got a lot more buttons. You've got a speaker and a mic if you ever want to just sit on a table and not wear a headset. Um, color screen. Just uh, like I said, this is kind of the, the Ferrari of Intercom. This right. is as Scroll good as it gets. Yeah. Uh, very exciting. Um, but there's no right or wrong answer. These are both uh, very current products that are both very popular. Uh, I'd say these are for the power users. These are for, for uh, everyone else. <laughs> One cool thing about Arcadia is it does both. I have uh, plenty of, of uh, customers that actually use both. You know, they have most of their people on the 1.9 who needs, uh, you know, a few channels, production, Dante, all that stuff. And then you have your, uh, you know, producer might need a few more keys, and that's when they get the edge belt pack. So there's no restriction in doing either one. Um, one other cool thing about FreeSpeak is uh, the transceivers, which are the access points, so to speak. Uh, these can be IP or home run. So if you don't want to mess with the IP stuff, you can do uh, the E1 and get up to 600, 700 foot cable runs. Um, and, but then you have the IP ones, which is what I'm holding in my hand. And these are PoE and, and uh, yeah, that's how they connect to the Arcadia. Um, how many belt packs per? 10 belt packs per transceiver on the IP models, five belt packs per transceiver on the non-IP models, or E1 if you want to call it that. Um, it, oh, one more thing. For those who aren't familiar with uh, FreeSpeak, it's a distributed antenna system, meaning the, the Arcadia is the brains of the system, and you sprinkle these ar uh, transceivers around where you need coverage. So if you're just trying to cover one area, you could get away with one or two transceivers, but you can put up to 16 transceivers for, for large studios and things like that and, and roam around seamlessly without, without a problem. So, so that's depending on your coverage, wireless. you just deploy more of those the, uh, transceivers. And then we have the control on the app as well now. Yep. Um, the CCM, which is our core configuration manager, this is browser-based. Um, as you'll see here, 
can be run on an iPad, computer, whatever you want. You just type in the IP address, and whether that's on your local LAN or internet, the internet doesn't really matter as long as you can see their Acadia. This is where all your configuration is done. Some people mess with this all the time for, each, for fly packs and you know, reconfigure it each time. Some people set this up once and don't touch it for uh, months or years. Um, it's one cool so way to do it. So if you're really mobile on the fly, you have it on your phone as well as an oh, option? Oh, yes. Thank you for that segue, TK. So we also have Agent IC, which is a very popular um, software product. It's, this is uh, basically a panel on your phone. So um, you're, you, instead of using hardware buttons, you've got uh, software buttons. It's a great ancillary tool. Um, you don't usually want it to be your primary comm solution, but you know if you're at home and there's an emergency and you need to get on the comm system, just hop on your phone, boom, you got a full communication. Right, key into anything that's already connected. Absolutely. And then uh, can you just show us so that, that we can see the reflection, how that works when you're actually using it? Yeah, yeah. So right now, if you open it up, it, it remembers how you opened it up, but these are all the channels that you have. This is just a demo system, so um, it's kind of interesting. This is going over my Verizon, um, Verizon all the way up back to California and then back to my phone. So... Um, you can have it anywhere in the world, um, but you listen mm -hmm. to uh, any any channel you want there, and say I want to talk to the you know, audio. I just key that up and uh, talk to them for a minute, or I can latch it, whatever you want. Uh, they actually have that one set up not to latch. I apologize. Um, they didn't want people getting locked in, but yeah. And, and so I don't want to listen to that one anymore. If you had a situation, could you use your own devices, um, Bluetooth, to this? Uh, Absolutely. Okay. Yep. So Once sweet. it's on your phone, like, yeah, you can use anything you want. Yeah, so very uh, streamlined into like the way that people are kind of using their tech already. For sure. Um, so yeah, the modern convenience of that. Um, is there anything else that you want to touch on? Last thing is uh, HelixNet, which Helix, we yes. kind of glossed over. HelixNet is our wired digital IP party line. So this is actually wired pack. The form factor is pretty close to the same, but you'll see it's uh, PoE back there. And these are an IP connection back to the Arcadia. Or you could use XLR cable if you prefer. Um, but again, this is for anyone that doesn't need to be mobile. Uh, it's never a bad thing to just have a wire plugged in. There's three different form factors, four different form factors. There's a speaker station here. Um, this can also be a wall mount if you just buy this, this uh, segment here. And then lastly, there's the rack mount. They all do the same thing, just uh, different form factors. And... Uh, just an IP version of the analog party line that we've had out for 55 years now. Excellent. Like Clearcom invented, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Plug. Um, all right, so we'll take that um, time to field any questions that we may have in the chat. Is there anything um, currently in the chat? No questions yet, TK. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, um, I have a question. Sure. Uh, Agent IC natively in Arcadia, is that what I heard? It's coming, hint, hint. It's, it's coming. It's in the pipeline. They've been talking about it more and more. So, uh, Agent, yes, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so he asked if uh, Agent IC is native to Arcadia. Um, up until uh, it, not yet, so a, a few months away, yeah. We, we're not making a big, big announcement yet, but uh, we've talked about it enough to hint at it. It, it is coming. Um, right now, we connect to Arcadia via an LQ, which is just a little throwdown box or rack mount box that uh, hosts Agent IC. Um, yeah, there's, so it's not like Agent IC won't work with Arcadia now. It's just one uh, less box, and that's, that's up and coming. Yeah. So everything we're seeing here is currently available. We, everything's uh, currently? Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. So plenty of supply. So if you need any of these solutions, make sure that you reach out to your respective dealer. Um, get, get a hold of your ClearCom agent. Uh, reach out to Gotham. Uh, we got so um, is there any, any last final touches, any last questions, anything like that going on in the chat, Lauren? No, nope, that's it. Okay, okay. Well, William, I appreciate your time, man. Thanks for everything. Thank and you, we'll and Gotham Sound's been great. Uh, it's always a pleasure working with you guys. Absolutely, yeah, man. Um, look forward. We're going to have a couple more um, actual ClearCom learning um, conventions going on in Atlanta. And yes, we have some up-and-coming events. There's nothing formalized yet, but I've been working with our local rep, Vision 2, um, and Gotham, obviously, to do some both training sessions and just uh, get around and see what's going on in the Atlanta area. So we'll, we'll announce those in the next month or two. 
Okay, so if any of you guys are watching this and you want to uh, get some more tr lessons on ClearCom, learn more about that, um, be sure to link up with us and we'll queue you into ClearCom and get you the dates for when those uh, sessions are going to be available. Yes, um, so if there are any more questions available, Lauren? Nope, that's it. Okay. Well, with that, it's uh, day two. We'll catch us back for some more coverage and we'll see you soon. Thanks.